Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode here at Electrical Code Academy Incorporated, where we teach you the National Electrical Code. And hopefully you're following us over on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash master the NEC. But you're also listening to our podcasts, and they're available over on our website at masterthenec.com. Or you can even listen to them here on our YouTube channel. Or if you go to your popular podcasting channel, you can also search for Master the NEC, kind of like you see up there, and you'll be able to find us and you'll listen to us that way. We have a lot of episodes both in podcast as well as video. Now, if you want to be a subscriber and get exclusive content, then you want to go click the join button over on our YouTube channel because that's where we keep all of our private content, um, our pre-recordings, uh, our rebroadcasts, I should say, of all of our Wednesday night sessions we put in there for exam prep. Also, special content as well, analyzing the National Electrical Code. All of that is in that members-only area. Of course, we do share a lot of things public, like this video, but there's a lot of private stuff in there as well. Now, if you're thinking about passing an electrical exam and you're thinking, this is going to be tough. How do I pass this electrical exam? Uh, maybe you've been searching around. Maybe you've been searching for things like electrical exam prep, uh, electrical exam preparation. Maybe you've been searching for in your state. Look, the National Electrical Code is the same in every state. What might change is they might have some local rules or regulations or laws that you need to understand things like when your license would expire, what the fees are, what fines are. We're not going to teach you that. That's something that you need to do. Okay. You need to understand what the laws and regulations are in your state. And usually these are a free download. You can get them from your state administrator. In fact, if you go to our website, we actually can show you all of the licensing regulations for your state and links to your state by simply going to our website and you'll see there's a link on our main page that actually takes you to your state regulations. Okay, so you can actually find out by clicking on it what the requirements are in your specific state and download those. And in many cases, they'll even let you take those into the exam. But what you're really struggling with is learning the National Electrical Code. And that's what I'm here to help you with because I have taught over 40,000 students for over 30 years. Uh, I've authored books on the subject. I have taught seminars all over the country, and I created a fast tracks program that is designed to use what's called ballistic training. And that is, we just don't believe in videos only because people go to sleep, they get bored by them, depending on the educator's tone, they're very monotone, they just don't hold your attention. But we have created a program that interacts with not just videos, but also high graphic illustrations and a lot of reading material. Now, why do we prefer reading material? You might say, well, can I just read a book? Well, there's a lot of people that try to study by just grabbing the National Electrical Code. That is the worst way you could ever study because the code book is not set up in a way to be a study manual. And in fact, the code even tells you it's not an installation manual. It's not the way to study by just simply grabbing it and just flipping through the code book. You need to have a structured plan. So I learned many years ago with my students that if we created a structured plan and I kind of walked you through all the key fundamentals, that along that way, you're not just going to learn the NEC, but you're going to also retain that information. That's what we've done in our Fast Tracks program. Uh, and we've mixed in their videos, high illustrated graphics that really call out key things, a lot of reading material. We even have a read me feature. If you want to sit back and highlight it and let it read it to you and you follow the bouncing ball and you read it at the same time, it's reading it to you. That's the ballistic training. It just helps your retention of the material. And again, that's the biggest problem I see with students. They can't retain the information. So I know you're on the edge of your seat. You're thinking, what is this fast tracks program he's talking about? Well, let's go look at this program because I really am excited to show you what it is all about. So in the Fast Tracks program, you'll get your own console. You can access it 365 days, 24 seven for an entire year. You can print anything you want um, and you're free to do that. Again, 24 seven, 365. Um, all of the pages in here are again, really clear to print. But here's the thing, you can do this on a browser based, whether it's a phone, a tablet, laptop, desktop, doesn't matter because it is browser based. Okay. You'll get your own console to log in. Now, everything is broken down into five sections, but then you have inside of that, you're going to have units and these units, there's 19 of them here. 
19, breaking down every little piece and component. And it also breaks it down into something that is palatable. In other words, something that you can read it without being too bored with it because we give you the images and then we give you what's called call-outs. But rather than just talk about it, let me show you what you get in this program. This is just a, a peek into the program. So if I were to go into cables and I click reading material, for example, in this case, I've already in the program. If you want to go back to the beginning, you can get your table of contents, take you back to the, the very beginning. And we talk about board holes. Very beginning uh, in this unit, a, see the call out, this is the board hole, and it tells you hole must be bored so that the edge of the hole is at least one and a quarter inches from the nearest edge of the wood framing member. And see how I clicked my left mouse and drug over it? I can highlight that at any time if it's something that I wanna keep and remember. And again, you can go get over here in the study hub, it'll show you everything that you've highlighted. So you can come back later to some important topics. But here's something else that I wanna do. If you wanna take the highlighting off, you click it again and just remove it. See these chevrons right here? Anytime in our program you see these chevrons, you need to grab your code book because a whole process here is not just watching a DVD and watch somebody else commentate. Here you're interactive. So when you see a chevron, and we've added these chevrons so that you go to your code book and read that code section because we're gonna give you commentary. You're gonna see the illustration. Now you're gonna read the code. We do this all through the program. Why do we do it this way? It's interactive. It really gets you maneuvering through this book. And this is what you want to do. You want to get used to, there, you want to get used to going through this book. And we give you the process and how to do it, okay? And so that's what's unique about it. And here you've got a lot of notes, a lot of extra information. Let's say you just want something to be read to you. Well, you can highlight it, left click and hold it. I'll just do a little bit of it and click read the text. Holes must be bored so that the edge of the hole is at least. And there you go. If you want to read the whole thing, highlight the whole thing, it'll read it. If you just click this, it'll read the whole thing to you. If you want to kind of hear it, follow along, watch the bouncing ball. Uh, all these things are tickling the senses that's going to help you retain the information. There is a reason why we want you to read. Because reading comprehension is the biggest thing that people have a bad experience with on an exam. They read a question and they just can't understand it. They cannot comprehend what they just read. So how do we combat that? We give you the meat and potatoes of the core requirement. We put it on the screen. You read it, okay? You go look it up in the code. When you see the chevrons, it starts to make sense, okay? Now, another thing I'll tell you, our students know that they can go to our website, which again, mastertheNEC.com, and up at the top, they actually can download an app put the app on their phone and it has a feature if they can contact me at any time to ask me a question about something in their unit that they don't understand, okay? And I have everything right here on my phone and I answer these questions. Now I have literally over a thousand students in my Fast Tracks program right now. And let me tell you what, I answer their questions, I interact with them, but they also come to our Wednesday night training. Okay? And you're not required to come to our training. But if you want that training, that little bit more, for this low price that you're paying for our program, with all the interaction, with all of the other benefits, you also get access to me on Wednesday nights where I will answer your questions that you're struggling in the unit, something you don't understand. We will go over it. I even do scheduled training, like box fill, uh, range calculations, all these types of things. And I do this also. I record them. And I share them later for all of my Fast Track students so they can come back and watch it. So maybe you missed a session, but you still want to get the training. I make it available to you. That's all included in our program. Nothing extra for that. Okay, so one of the things that you do here is you simply go through the unit and read it. Every time you see a Chevron, you go look it up. Okay, again, this works on any type of browser-based system, whether it's on your phone, your tablet, PC, doesn't matter, MacBooks, doesn't matter, it's browser-based. You can change the font size right here. You want it to be bigger or you want it to be smaller, totally up to you. If there's something that's real important here, you wanna create a bookmark, go for it. If you wanna print this page, go for it. You have access to everything. Now, also want to know that we do reviews. So at the end of a unit, you'll get review questions and you have to answer these review questions. Now, we're just gonna, it's not gonna be A, B, C, or D. Here it is, you have to give your code reference in this box 
and the actual reference to the answer and make sure you read the question right. This one wants the answer in inches. Then you make sure you answer the question accordingly. Where do you get these answers? Well, in many of these competency reviews, remember, it's a competency review. So in that unit, you'll get a lot of the answers in that unit, but you won't get all the answers. We do this on purpose because during the process of you going into the chevrons, remember, and looking in the code book, you're going to have to get better familiar with going in and out and maneuvering through this code book. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's about, right? This is the document that you get to take into the exam, not this. You don't get to take test uh, practice tests. You don't get to take uh, DVDs or, or textbooks. You get to take your code book. So what we want to do is test your competency, not only on the material you just read, but we're also testing your ability to find the answers. And they're going to be within the, the actual genre of what the unit's about. For example, cables. So it's going to be in chapter three. But what we're doing is testing your ability to take what you read and retain it. But then are you able to navigate in and be able to find the answer? Because we've given you the tools to do that during that unit. So very unique. They've been, the questions have been selected very specifically in order to test your ability. Um, and that's what a competency test is supposed to do. Also, at any given time, you can always go over here and click the book. It's available even during these exams or these tests, if you will. For I'm in unit four. You could go to the table of contents. You could go down to unit four. And everything is in here, okay, to be able to understand what you're dealing with and how you work it out. They're all right here. So you can just go through and pull up anything here, and you can help answer your questions here. But all of the material might not be specifically in the reading material, so you need to remember that, right? There was our set holes, setbacks, uh, and all those types. So everything is here. You can print any of these pages as well. So it's all available at your fingertips right there. Okay. So anyway, this is when you're done with this, you fill it all out and you just click submit and I grade these personally. Every single one of these gets graded by me personally. And I give feedback on every question that you get wrong, provided you get at least a 60%. If you get less than 60, then you didn't comprehend the unit very well. I want you to redo the unit. Remember, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Okay. Take your time. Be very patient. You will learn the NEC. There's no doubt about it if you follow this program. Also, you'll notice right there, that little green circle, when I do a grade, a review, that's where you go to see my comments on your review and to get your scores and things like that. Okay? So a lot of information in here. You simply go through the unit, do the reading material, go through every folder, and then do what's called a unit four assessment. That's your ending assessment before you go on to the next unit. You'll also notice that we put videos in here as well that correspond with the topic of that unit and go through it. And then before you go to the next unit, we'll grade it and we'll give you your feedback. You need to review the things that you got wrong. And then once it's done, you can go on to the next unit. Okay. So as you can see, there is tons of units in here, tons of activities. Here you see it's broken into the general provisions, specific provisions, load calculations and in services and electrical equipment broken down in every unit. There's a review. There's an assessment. Here you see we put some videos in there. There's just some simulations in there. If you want to play with them, that's up to you. And then you've got some drill work in this unit that you got to work on. Right? We put them all in there to test your knowledge. Okay? But remember, you want to go into a unit, finish that unit before you leave that unit because there's so much packed into each unit. Next, you get all the way through each one of these. And again, we put all the videos here together so you can kind of jump to any video you wanted as well. But we also get you some of these. Now, here's the video that I do that explains how to dissect the root of a question. That's an important video. You can look at a question and dissect it so that when you're using the index or you're trying to get in the right article or section, you have a better understanding of the question. And that's what that root video does. It really tries to break down the fundamentals of identifying a question. Now, here's the other thing that people like. People are paying a lot of money for question databases, quizzes. Now, there's some free ones online, but they're not updated. So in here, there's some uh, great questions. They're full database driven. They give you the answer when you get it wrong. And it actually gives you the answer even when you get it right so that you can see where it is in the code book to make sure that you're on track. 
And so in here, you've got 20 of these with 25 questions. Do the math. They're all in here. And then you've got some final exams, and these have 100 questions each. So there's a lot of questions for you to work it. And I encourage you to work through these questions until you start getting scores that are above 85%. So if I don't get a score that's 82%, do that one again. Do that entire quiz again, and it'll scramble the questions up. Why is this important? Because we're getting you in and out of the code book. Look, you cannot be successful without a plan. You might stumble and, and maybe pass the exam, maybe. The problem is once you get in the field, and I have people that call me on a daily basis, that they got their license, but they're still struggling how to use this book. The goal of my program is that you don't struggle. You can find the answers. You don't need to call somebody like me to help you in the field because you know how to navigate this book. This is why we created the Fast Tracks program. It's designed to help you learn, navigate, and become very proficient with the National Electoral Code. No other course does it like we do it. Some of them just give you graphics. Some of them just give you code. Somebody has an automated person talking to you. But they also don't do what? They don't do repetition. They don't require you to read the material. They don't require you to do competency reviews. They don't have the ability to come on Wednesday nights and actually ask me a question about something that maybe you heard on the job or, or maybe there's a calculation you're, not, you're confused with or, or maybe you don't understand maybe the securing and supporting requirements of non-metallic sheath cable like you really want to or maybe you want to know more about MC cable. I'm a resource. I want to be your resource. That's why people invest in this program. And if you go look at the price of our program, tell you what, go out there and price question and answer programs. Go, question, don't go price books and then try to put all that together and then try to do the pricing on tutoring and see what that costs you. You're getting tutoring with me every week if you choose to attend. It's already in the course. I'm invested in your success. That's what our program's all about. Now, this video was not going to show you every feature. That's what it wasn't designed to do. There's a ton of features in here. We have other videos for that. I encourage you to watch them. In fact, if you go to our website, masterthenec.com, and you'll actually click on the exam preparation course, it'll say electrical exam preparation, click on it. And what you're going to see is, is a demo video. Watch that video because that video talks about all of the features, just like what I talked about today, but even more in depth. And you're going to realize why this is the best investment that you can make for electrical exam preparation. But look, I'll go even one step further. This is the best program you're ever going to invest in to learn the National Electrical Code. It's not about the book. It's not about the illustrations. It's not just about the, the, uh, the read me feature. It's not just about the competency reviews. It's about all of those things. It's about the Wednesday night one-on-ones that you have with me. It's about the ability for you to read it and have a question that you can reach me anytime. Do that with other educators. At least ones that you Google and at my level, see if they're reaching out to you. Do it. That's why I'm here. I have dedicated my life to this. I have dedicated to teaching you. I don't know everything, but I know enough, trust me, to help you be successful. Hopefully, you will invest in the Fast Tracks program. I look forward to seeing you as a student. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to us. The email address is above, info at masterthenec.com. Until next time, folks, stay safe. God bless.